what is going on guys nexus here just bringing you guys a class guide specifically for ninja diffusing now this is just my personal preference of a class if you don't like it don't use it if you have any slight changes for yourself your your own personal preference go ahead and do it this is just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what kind of class you want to use for ninja diffusing now i do plan to give out some other class guides as well as tutorials on many other things such as ninja diffusing spots best spots in each map to ninja diffuse in just check those out if you're interested in those. Just letting you guys know that this is not the only thing I do. So let's go straight into it. We're going to go to uh, Private Match because this is going to unlock everything for me to show you guys. So we're going to go to Create a Soldier. And right away, you can notice that my soldier is in a Geely suit. Now, this is the best camouflage you want to use. You go to Special, and you got the Concealed Cobra, or you got the Straight Up Geely Suit. Now, I can't really remember which one it is, but I'm pretty sure the Geely Suit is... 500 kills with that attachment on the sniper rifle that increases your damage. I forget what it's called. I'm going to check it right now, actually. Uh, sniper rifle, let's see, attachment is the chrome lined attachment. This is what you want to use. You need 500 kills using this. That's how you will get the Geely suit. And then on top of that, oops, uh, the next one here, if you want this one, it's 500 kills with the variable zoom on a sniper rifle. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter if it's on a sniper rifle, but it just says variable zoom. But obviously, that's the best thing you'll want to use it on is a sniper rifle. So the uh, chrome line detachment and the sniper rifle. That's how you want to get these Geely suits. Now, we'll get straight to the class itself. Now, here, I prefer an assault rifle. This costs one point, and that, there's not an issue with that. I will go into further detail with this in a second. Let's go straight to the important stuff about the main parts of the Ninja Diffuse class. Now, in this game, I realized uh, with Semtex, Grenade, etc., these tactical grenades, uh, previous Call of Duties, you could hold on to it and then put it away. But in this game, once you pull it out, you have to throw it or hold on to it. You can't put it back. You can't do anything like that. So once you pull it out, that's your only ninja diffuse. So in that case, I highly recommend using a trophy system, a motion sensor, an IED, a C4, or a throwing knife because you can hold these out, throw them on the ground, pick them up and then use them again if you understand what I'm saying because you want to make yourself look dead and these are the best equipment pieces to use use whatever one you prefer in this case I'm just using the motion sensor just as an example that's basically what you want to use out of those five I believe I believe it's five one two three four five yes five now we'll move on to the perks now there aren't a lot of perks you really need I noticed with a lot of classes such as in black ops 2 everyone assumes that you should automatically have only a knife and a ton of perks for ninja diffusing completely false only use what you really need for example you really only need dead silence because once you see that guy planting the bomb you have to get up get behind him and ninja diffuse now you don't want him to hear your footsteps because if he hears those footsteps he's going to stop he's going to turn around and kill you so definitely have dead silence for that uh incog is going to prevent them from seeing your name if they move their crosshairs near you this is going to really reinforce uh the way your character looks in terms of being dead between the Geely suit and you laying there looking dead with this, they're not going to notice that you're alive because you have no name and no red crosshairs. So this is going to definitely help. This has been in previous Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2. Every ninja diffuser uh, diffuses. What the heck is that? Every ninja diffuser uses this perk. Okay, now we'll continue on. Off the grid, this will make you undetectable by SACOMs. SACOM is basically the UAV in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, the reason why you want this is if the enemy does get a SACOM, they're going to know where you are, which means you can't stay still, and you're going to be wasting your time not ninja diffusing. So your class is basically pointless. So make sure you have this. And SATCOMs are very easy to get, so trust me when I say you definitely want this, they will not be rare. Uh, they will be very common. And especially with my luck, I always get bad teammates. They always get The enemy always gets SATCOMs. So make sure you have off the grid as well. Now, personally, I prefer Amplify. I have a headset, so I can hear people's footsteps pretty well in this game which is a good thing. So if you have a headset yourself and you can sound horror somewhat decent, uh, you definitely want Amplify because what you can do is, if you go check out my other videos, for example, I have some spots, uh, best, my personal favorite spots in Ninja Diffuse on each map. I'm going to upload all, every map basically um, in the future. Check those out. You will notice that I give some suggestions in terms of some spots where you can look at the bomb and if you can sound horror using your headset, you can hide in a very well hidden place and then sneak around a building or something to Ninja Diffuse. It's kind of hard to explain in this video. Just go watch the tips and tutorials and you will understand what I'm saying. Point is, you definitely want Amplify, Off the Grid, Incog, and Dead Silence. Now, Strike Package does not matter. You use whatever you want. It doesn't matter what you use for Ninja Diffusing. And after getting these perks, you have one point left. Now, you can either use this on a Lethal or an Assault Rifle or whatever weapon you want. 
Myself personally, use it on a weapon. Attachments are free, so put a silencer on. This will make you stay hidden. So if you kill someone, you can go right back to ninja defusing. Now use whatever weapon because say you're ninja defusing A and the enemy plants at B. You're going to have to go defuse that and kill the enemy The I was going to say enemy teammates. That's kind of like an oxymoron. You're going to have to go defuse the bomb and kill the enemies that are left alive. In other words, use the weapon to play objectively. Don't just be some useless pile of crap laying on the ground ninja defusing. Uh, if they plant the other bomb, I mean, give your team the chance to win, right? Make yourself useful. So overall, that's basically my guide. Hopefully, it wasn't too long for you guys. Hopefully, I explained it well enough. If you guys have any questions, go ahead. Leave a comment in the video description or video comment section. I mean, anything you want. Check out my channel. I have Ninja Diffuse spots for you guys. Everything. Hope you guys enjoy this tips and tutorial guide. 